I bring you a tale of fable and mystery, shrouded in folklore through years of history. A tale to bring laughter and just a few sobs. So please pay attention and shut your gobs. I tell of a girl, Cinderella her name, at the end of the story, she hopes to find fame. With football, her dribbling and scoring is fab. But at the mo, her life is so drab. Manchester Garden City is where she lives. You mean Withenshaw, don't tell us, Fibs. You know the story. Her family are mean. Let's go meet them. But are you really that keen? Right, Cinders, give us that remote control. Now we've all moved in, there'll be no more football in this house. No, Mummy, we want to watch the Housewives of West Didsbury and there's Kiss Lots of Frogs to Find Your Prince on Trash TV. Yeah, pass it here. It's our TV now and you can budge off that couch too, Cinderella. I need to stretch my beautiful, flexible body. But please... Me and my dad always watch the United match together on a Saturday afternoon. Hey, if you know what side your echo cakes is buttered on, you'll do what's right, love. Now shove off. Get us all a cheeky vimto. And while you're at it, I cheers and Branston sane. <sighs> so Cinders was moved from the family bubble and would quite likely have been in trouble. Cast aside to the garden shed. But her curry and cheesy friends gave her a bed. Oh, I'm so glad I've met you all. I've never had such good friends as all of you. And lettuce. Don't worry, my love. We'll look after you, won't we, Bet? We certainly will. We're old enough. I've got collars older than you, love. Back in our day on the street, everybody looked after their neighbours. Uh, you mean they were nosy parkers? Say it as it was, Hilda. Baby Bell and I believe in standing up for our rights. We fought hard in Manchester. We'll help you believe in yourself and your rights as a mouse. Oh, but I'm not a mouse. I'm a woman. We're all in the same bubble now, Cinderella. Doesn't matter if you're a woman or a mouse. Hey, or cat. And rabbit. That rabbit needs to find its own voice. We are family, I've got all my sisters with me. We are family, come on everybody say. We are family, I've got all my sisters with me. We are family, come on everybody say. But Buttons, our hero, had faith, so we hear. He coached her skills when no one was near. He once was a scout with the great man you, and on the side, a chef. Yes, that's true. Oh, no, he wasn't. Oh, yes, it was. The old Trafford in the Busby Babes days. Hello. All right, Cinderella. This is what I used to prepare for Matt Busby, Meal of Champions is what I call it. Ooh, thank you, Buttons. What is it? Egg, <laughs> chips, and, <laughs> egg, chips and, and, and mushy peas. And what's that? It looks like a Manchester tart for afters. Yes, yeah, yeah. Buttons, that looks so delicious. If it wasn't for you, the cats, the mice and lettuce, I don't know where I would be and oh. what would have happened to me. I do still hope I can make it as a footballer. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, uh, put a good word in for you. Uh, you are at the Old Trafford. Uh, you need to see the world. Yeah, you do need to see the world. <laughs> you're quite young, aren't you? So you need to mm -hmm. shop around a bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Think about all the places you could see and get to. Liverpool. 
Wigan. Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley? Yeah. Where's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Football oh, crazy. crazy. Football, Football mad. mad. Football <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Football oh, no. mad. Woo! <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Facebook announced a face mask ball to be held at the Ferry Posh Manchester Town Hall. All were invited, so plans had to hurry. So folks nipped down Rush Home for a takeaway curry. Prince Marcus Rashford was the special guest. That poor lad doesn't get much rest. But poor Cinderella, her lass had no clothes. All she had was a bundle of woes. It's raining men, hallelujah, it's raining men. Amen, we're gonna bag Marcus Ratchford and nobody else is gonna have him. Oh my God, sweetie, I cannot wait for this ball. I don't half fancy Prince Marcus. I'm going to bagsy myself a prince. Okay, so to make ourselves really beautiful, I wish this nose job would hurry up and heal. We need to get some beauty products. So, um, sandpaper, we need the rough for our cheeks and then the smooth for our feet because they're really nice, aren't they? Um, we need some exfoliant. We need some wax, loads of wax because those hairs on your back, darling, they really need sorting out. Ubers booked and gowns looking snappy. Everyone bar cinders was feeling happy. Her hero, Prince Marcus, was making a show, but with no ticket, no mask, she had nowhere to go. I really want to go to the ball, but I can't think of anyone I'd rather be stuck in a cold, damp shed with than you guys and lettuce. That's the spirit. Don't give up. We're off to crawl the streets with our banners and get you to the ball if we have to. I'm going over to the Rovers for a saucer of Baileys. Do you want to come, Cinders? Oh, I'll come. I might need a top. Thanks, friends, but I think I'll just have to admit I can't go to the ball and I think I'll just stay here with Lettuce. Suddenly, with a flash and a crackle or two, Fairy Godmother appears. Oh, we've been waiting for you. Oh my goodness. Sprinkles her magic, Cinders is transformed with such glitz and glamour and united shirt adorned. Wow, thank you, Fairy Godmother. This is quite something. A beautiful dress, a face mask and a football shirt. If I see Prince Marcus at the ball, I might ask him to autograph it. But how am I going to get to the ball? My dear, you have phone to wait. Uh, before midnight, and, and your face mask falls off. Go and have an am amazing evening. As for me, I'll follow to watch Strictly. As the coach with cinders arrived at the square, everyone stopped and had a good stare. Prince Marcus was about to shake cinders' hands, but remembered the elbow move in front of his fans. May I introduce myself? I am Prince Marcus Rashford of Withenshaw. Would you like to dance? I'd rather play football with you, but I guess we could have a dance. All night long there was moving and grooving, like moss-eyed carnival strumming and drumming. Then out of nowhere a ball was revealed, securing a bond their love was sealed.
time to move, revealing a footy shirt before the next groove. But just as he signed it, the twelfth bomb struck. And as she ran, it dropped. What bad luck! Good night, cats. Good night, mice. Good night, lettuce. I'm going to bed to dream about Prince Marcus. Mm. I doubt I'll ever have such a wonderful night as I did tonight. Good night. After three, three, we meet again. Don't know where, don't know where, but oh, we again till sunny day. Keep smiling through, just like you always do, till the blue skies chase those dark clouds. Come morn, the sisters were in a foul mood. Not just a hangover, they were rather rude. To think Prince Marcus had shouldered them cold for a posh stranger who was far too bold. Cinders, get up here this instant. I need a paracetamol and a double espresso. And I need some new gym jams to cheer me up. What are we going to do, Mummy? When are we going to find someone that loaded to marry us? Speak of it. Who did she think she was? I've never even heard of her. To think that Prince Marcus chased after her. I hope she's gone back to Cheshire and stays put. We follow the rules and stay at home. Yeah. Cinders, bring me my iPad. What does the news say? Does it report on the face mask ball? Yes, Mum. It says that the ball was a great success. That but it also says that the pathetic young woman ran away at midnight, dropping her souvenir shirt as she went. She can't be that good at football, even if she does drop a shirt. Uh, what else does it say? Ah, oh, it says that in, the Prince Marcus got to find that young woman, as he knows that she is the one for him and they must play football happily ever after. He won't find her. He won't find her. I bet there'll be hundreds of women who'll put themselves forward pretending to be her. Mm. Yeah, and it says his servant's going to take the football shirt to every young wo woman to see who can dribble the ball and it fits. Huh. Really? <gasps> Let's get practicing. Buy the ball, sweetie. Anything quick. There's no time to lose. Could I stay to see the prince's servant, please? Don't be ridiculous. Back down to the kitchen. You've got jobs to do. He wouldn't want to see your miserable little face. Hurry, you could be knocking on the front door any minute. I need to put my face on. From Crumpsall to Clayton, Gorton to Hume, the footman travelled quicker than Zoom. Not everyone was willing. Some just took pity. And as the footman found... Some supported City. Prince Marcus Rashford has sent me to all the beautiful women in Manchester. 
to find out who left the shirt behind at the ball. If this shirt fits you and you can play football, you could become the princess. It's very kind of you, but look at me. I'm old enough to be his grandma. No way, man. Take that shirt out of here. Really? Really. Why? Oh, do you not see my shirt? I wouldn't wipe my nose on it. Two hours later and still exhausted from the ball, the servant knocks on Withenshaw Hall. This here shirt must fit or it's tough and have footy skills or I'm off in a huff. Good morning. Are there any beautiful young women in the house who might fit into this football shirt and who like playing football? Me, me, yeah. me, 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 me. Can I ask each of you ladies to try on this shirt and then dribble the ball across the lawn? Oh, come in. Of course, we'll all try it on. Yes, yes, it will fit me. Oh, there's no giving material these days. This should fit me. I fear I may never find the young woman I'm seeking. No one has shown the footballing talent that she had and no one has quite fitted this shirt. Prince Marcus is going to be so disappointed. Whatever will I say to him? At that very moment, Cinders appears. Like a pro, she dribbles with no fears. Grabbing the shirt, she tried it on. There was no mistaking. She was the one. <laughs> you can't mean Cinderella. She wasn't at the ball. She was at home in the shed where she always is. Oh no, she wasn't. Oh, oh yes, yes, she, she was. was. Oh no, she wasn't. My friends are right. I wasn't. Was you or wasn't you? My fairy godmother helped me go to the ball, and there I was dancing and talking and playing football with the most handsome and kind prince you will ever meet. He loves me, and I love him. So at last, Prince Marcus, full of perspiration, arrived at the door in pure desperation. Now this is the part that you might need your hanky before they start their hanky-panky. Will you marry me? But can I be princess and still play for the women's football team? Yes, my darling, of course you can. Then I will marry you. <laughs> Out the door, I'll be right behind you. I'm getting married in the morning. Mm -hmm. 